actually, just for fun, everyone, I uh, will go back to here and I will record all of this so you see the right answers in case you didn't have them. Obviously, we haven't gone over them, but there you can see them and double mark to make sure if you didn't mark earlier. There's the first three. One, two, three. Oops. Four, five, six. You, yeah, you marked it. I just want to, I didn't record it. Seven, eight, nine. Why didn't I record it? Because I'm a doofus. Oh. Uh, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. 15, 16. 17. 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. There you go. Now, let's move on to here. Why is this true? Kelvin. That is one. Right, and that's negative one. And that is true because of what Kelvin just said. This just changes the eight because there are no brackets. The negative is included in the base. So this zero includes the negative and the eight. All right? Because the negative is not part of the base. Okay. Evaluate. This means 3 over 5 to the negative 2, which is the same as 3 divided by 5 to the negative 2, which is the same as 3 divided by 1 over 25, which is the same as 3 times 25 over 1, which is 75. There's a lot of ways to write the same thing. That is a lot, there's a lot of ways to write the same thing. This is everything that is mathematically happening there. Many of you probably took some shortcuts there, that's fine. But mathematically, this is what is going on there. That means 3 divided by this, 3 divided by that fraction, 3 times the reciprocal of a fraction to get 75. Calculate this when you know x. So the first thing to do is simplify, yes? This x goes into the brackets to get me x to the fourth, right? Okay. Plus 3 minus 3 is x to the 0, yes? Plus x to the 0. What is x to the 0? 1. So this is x to the fourth plus one, right? X is one half. So this is one half to the fourth plus one, which is one sixteenth plus one, which is one and one sixteenth, or seventeen sixteenths. Because, Shaquille, oh, 1 plus 1 16th is a lot easier to write as 1 and 1 16th. <laughs> Shaquille Anwar. All right. So, this is, these are tricky, right? These are tricky. Okay? But you just stay cool. Okay? This, my radicand here, this is saying that this is the square root 
of the cubed root of 64, yes? Which means it is the cubed root of 64 to the one half, right? This in here is 64 to the one third, yes? All of that is to the one half. What do you do over brackets? Multiply, so that is 64 to the one sixth, which is the sixth root of 64, which is two. Because two times two times two times two times two times two, times two is 64. Kelvin. Of course you could. Of course you could. But it also said to write as a power. Right? So if the question is just to calculate it, you do what Kelvin just said. Well, isn't the cube root of 64, 4? Yeah. And then the square root of 4 is 2. Okay? This, as a power, is 625 to the one-fourth, yes? But since it's in the denominator, it must be the negative one-fourth. Yeah? Yeah. And then to evaluate it, it's one over the fourth root of 625, which is one-fifth. Because five times five times five times five is 625. Good? Kelvin. Five to the negative one. I'm sorry? Five to the negative yes, five to the negative one is also okay for a power. Absolutely. This? This is 2401 to the one half, all to the one half, which is 2401 to the one quarter which is also the fourth root of 2401. And then you would have to work that out. It is seven. Okay, everybody good? Any questions up to there? Sweet. Okay, so two times five is what? 10. What do I do with the exponents? 3 minus 1, 3 eighths minus 1 eighth is 2 eighths, yes? So that's x to the 2 eighths, which is 1 quarter. Cool? Now, that's the power. I also want it as a radical. Does that rational exponent go to the 10 or just the x? Just the x. So this is 10 fourth root of x. I have an answer. You don't need to. Because they're the same base, you can combine them first. And it ended up being positive still. Okay? So, that one third, it only applies to the a, yes? So this is 64a to the 1 sixth, right? Because I multiply over bracket. There's the power, 64 sixth root of a. Everybody cool there? Okay, now it starts to get a little funke here, right? This inside the brackets is all one thing, right? So I can work with that first. The cubed root of 64 is 4, yes? So this inside the brackets is 4a to the 1 third, yes? And all of that is to the 1 half. The square root of 4 is what? 2a to the 1 sixth, yes? So there's my power, and then it's 2 sixth root a. Everybody still okay there? Okay, now this one is slightly different. Why? Because this one third is only attached to the A, isn't it? Yeah. But this one half is attached to everything, yes? So the one half goes to the 64, so I get 8 A to the 1 sixth, yes? Yeah. Right? 
Everybody okay with that? All right. And then I get 8 sixth root A. Kelvin. Square root of the cubed root of 6. No. Is the square root of the cubed root of 64. Cube root of 64 is 4, and square root of that is 2. Where? Which one are you talking about? I, I'm not. Which? You're talking about this one? Yeah, uh, it's the same as 4a. 4a? No, because of the a value. There's no a in 4a, there's no variable. Oh, Joel. What? What a character. You know, I have no idea. It's supposed to be a collab. But I have no idea. I assume they will tell us on the announcements at the beginning of next block. Okay. What do I do with the exponents? i got to add them, right? Two-thirds and one-half is seven-sixths. Y to the 7 6 over Y to the 1 quarter is Y to the 14 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. So it's Y to the 11 twelfths, which is the 12th root of Y to the 11th power. F. Simplify first a cubed b to the one half over a three b three. The a threes cancel. One half minus three is b to the negative five halves, which is one over b to the five halves, which is one over the square root of b to the fifth. Any questions there? Okay, and G. Is 10 divided by 5 is 2. 1 fifth minus minus 3 fifths is 1 fifth plus 3 fifths, which is 2x to the 4 fifths, which is 2 fifth root of x to the 4th. And finally, H. H, a lot of people were asking about H. What does that divide mean? You multiply by the reciprocal. So that is a to the 4 thirds over 9 times, reciprocate this, 81 to the 3 quarters over a. 81 to the 3 quarters is the fourth root of 81 cubed. The fourth root of 81 is 3. Cubed is 27. Yes? So that 27 is what lives there. Now, 9 and 27 cancel. 1, 3, 4 thirds. This is 3 thirds. So 3 thirds of this cancel to get 1 third, and that A is gone. So now I have 3A to the 1 third, which is also 3 cube root a. Uh, I got a over you uh, you finished that really time. Right? I know that was crazy, hey. All right, you guys, uh, make sure twenty six is done. I will do this with page twenty six and post it today. So if you show up tomorrow, you will have seen the key. If there's a test, okay. Have good days. We get to pick spots here, right? Knock yourselves out. It's not.